CO NH3 taken 6 Cl3 so this is the first compound second compound third compound fourth compound <coughs> I would like to represent first compound as cobalt in which NH3 taken 6 present in square bracket and outside of the square bracket it is connected to three chlorine atoms in such case whatever the number of chlorine atoms present outside of the square bracket are going to react with silver nitrate excess amount of silver nitrate all the chlorine atom present outside of the square bracket are reacted with silver nitrate and converts into silver chloride precipitate how many chlorine atoms are there three chlorine atoms hence three moles of white color precipitate silver chloride precipitate as the product similarly i would like to consider second structure in another aspect or another form co nh3 taken 5 cl cl2 the same thing co cl3 co one chlorine inside of the square bracket and two chlorines outside of the square bracket so co cl2 cl3 and dot 5 h nh3 so nh3 taken 5 again when it reacted with silver nitrate excess amount of silver nitrate how many chlorine atoms are present outside of the square bracket two so whatever the number of chlorine atoms present outside of the square bracket those reacts with silver nitrate to produce silver chloride so two chlorine atoms outside of the square bracket hence two moles of silver chloride white precipitate resulting from the second expected structure similarly come to this third one we can write it as co nh3 taken 4 cl2 cl how many chlorine atoms that would identify outside of the square bracket only one then it is react it reacts with silver nitrate again to produce only one mole of silver chloride precipitate and similarly let us have one more structure what is the last one this is also same square bracket co nh3 taken 4 cl2 and cl again only one chlorine atom present outside of the square bracket and it reacts with silver nitrate in fourth condition to produce one mole of silver chloride white precipitate so these are the generalized expressions for coordination complexes when based on the amount of silver chloride molecule resulting from this complexes when it they reacted with excess amount of silver nitrate the proposed structures for these complexes as co nh3 taken 6 in square bracket outside of the square bracket three chlorine atoms in second condition co nh3 taken 5 cl inside of the square bracket where two chlorines present outside and in last two conditions co nh3 taken 4 cl2 inside of the square bracket whereas only one chlorine present outside of the square bracket and it reacts with silver nitrate to produce one mole of silver chloride as precipitate white color precipitate let us have from these chemical reactions or from these structural aspects by doing electro or conductivity experiment onto these two factors we are going to identify the first one during the reaction with silver nitrate the chlorine atoms are ammonia molecules which present inside of the square bracket never reacts with silver nitrate that means the amount of chemical substances or ions or molecules inside of the sphere are remains 6 only that may be all 6 are ammonia molecules or some of the ammonia molecules and some of the chlorine molecules next one during the chemical reactions they don't want to dissociate that means the chemical substances are the negative species or the neutral species which may included in the square bracket don't want to escape from the square bracket or the sphere so these two are the conditions or consideration that will identified by us 
during the chemical reaction of these complexes with silver nitrate. Similarly, in case of the above said molecules like CO, NH3, taken 4, Cl2, Cl and which is present in green color. Similarly, CO, NH3, taken 4, Cl2, Cl, it is present in violet color. Can you identify the differences between these two? There is no difference in the molecular expression. CO, CO, NH3 taken 4, NH3 taken 4, Cl2, Cl2, up to here, present in square bracket, whereas outside of the square bracket, only one chlorine present. But this compound present exists in green color and this compound exhibit violet color. The reason for this is, for these two coordination complexes, molecular formula molecular formula is same but distinct properties distinct properties that means first compound exhibit one type of properties whereas the second type of second compound exhibit another type of properties that is called as distinct properties identified between these two compounds so which represents these two are called as isomers as per the first year course syllabus we well known about the definition of isomers the species having same molecular formula but different in properties are called as isomer. In case of coordination compounds also we are with some isomers. So these two are the isomers because having same molecular formula but differ in their properties. So this is about introduction to coordination compounds. Here Alfred Werner is the scientist. In the year of 1898, Alfred Werner propounded, propounded Werner's theory, Werner's theory of coordination compounds coordination complexes Werner's theory of coordination complexes so let us have what are the characteristics of Werner's theory of coordination complexes what are the identified points we can conclude uh, we can concluded with this theory so first one in coordination compounds or coordination complexes the metal atom metal atom or ion will have two types of valencies two types of valency they are primary valence primary valence and secondary valence so what is the first condition or character that that is identified with werner's theory of coordination complexes in every coordination complex the central metal atom or metal ion will be with two types of valencies one valency is called as primary valence and another valency is called as secondary valence here generally primary valency is occupied by primary valency is occupied by negative species 
negative species or negative ions. Primary valency is satisfied or occupied by negative species where secondary valency secondary valency or valence is occupied by neutral molecules neutral molecules or negative ions neutral molecules or negative ions so this is the most important second character of werner's theory once again according to first point the metal atoms or metal ions in coordination complexes will have two types of valencies primary valence secondary valence in these metal complexes primary valence is satisfied by negative ions whereas the secondary valence is occupied or satisfied by neutral molecules or negative ions next one the number of secondary valency secondary valence what is number of neutral molecules number of neutral molecules or negative ions so what is this the number of secondary valence or the number of neutral molecules or negative ions that bound to bound to metal atom metal atom or ion is called as coordination number coordination number and 